City parks are not fully open because of the pandemic. In normal times, kids may have been on this playground having fun near the spot where police say someone found a man's body Wednesday morning. It's the third deadly shooting in Jackson in the past three days. And this crime is it's ridiculous. It's day after day. It's a constant thing, day after day. It's something that can happen any time, you know. And then you have people that it just engaged in all kinds of uh, activities. According to police, the man found dead in Battlefield Park had been shot several times. A woman who lives in the neighborhood near the park tells us she heard four shots around four o'clock in the morning. The mayor says a lot of the crime in the city is driven by conflict between people who know each other. Still, many people say they're on alert because violence has become all too common. Not necessarily scary, but I'm watchful, you know. Um, I mean, I, I think everybody should be safe, you know, and, and sometimes things happen anywhere. Police arrested Gerald Fuller and charged him with murder after a deadly Tuesday morning apartment shooting on Woodbine Street. Detectives are still searching for a suspect who gunned down Kaziri Smith at Black's Food Market Monday night. Witnesses told officers the West Capitol Street shooting stemmed from an accident in the store's parking lot. Workers at a nearby business say they're not surprised to hear about the shooting at Battlefield Park. They say it's not uncommon to hear gunfire here all hours of the day. In Jackson, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.